friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on the measurement of inductance using anderson's bridge so let us start with our problem we are given the arms of a five node bridge and the arms are as follows the arm ab it is an unknown impedance r1 l1 which is connected in series with a non inductive resistor small r1 then arm bc it is a non inductive resistor r3 arm cd it is also a non inductive resistor r4 arm da is a non inductive resistor r2 250 ohms arm de is a non inductive resistor r arm ce is a lossless capacitor c equals to 1 microfarad and arm be is a detector so the arms are given to us the description of the arms is given and an ac supply is connected between the points a and c now we have to calculate the unknown impedance that is r1 and l1 and under balance conditions we have to find these values and we are given the value of the non inductive resistor small r1 and also the non inductive resistor r their values are given to us so let us first draw this five node bridge and then try to solve this problem so when we draw let us first start with the arm ab arm ab it is the unknown impedance which is connected in series with the resistor so first we will have the r1 then small r1 and then l1 okay so this is small r1 capital r1 and l1 it is given to us in the question that arm ab is having the unknown impedance along with the non inductive resistor which is connected in series with each other so this is our arm ab then comes arm bc arm bc is a non inductive resistor it is given arm bc is a non inductive resistor r3 so here we will draw the non inductive resistor R three. Then, the, because it's a five node, so we will have A, B, C, D, and this is the fifth node E. So in the arm B E, a detector is connected, and in the arm C E, a lossless capacitor C is connected. So in arm C E, we are going to draw a capacitor, and in arm B E, we are going to draw a detector. Then in arm D E, we are having a non-inductive variable resistor R, and in arm D A, we are having a non-inductive resistor R two. So here also a resistance is connected. here also we are having a resistance this is small r this is a variable resistor and this is r2 in arm cd we are having a non inductive resistor r4 this was capacitor c this is r4 and between the points a and c and ac supply is connected so when we have drawn this uh, five node bridge whose specifications are given to us in the question when we draw this circuit this comes out to be the circuit diagram for that bridge and when we see this circuit diagram we will remember that this comes out to be the circuit for the anderson's bridge so if we remember the that how we can measure the inductance through the anderson's bridge if we remember those equations for r1 and l1 we can directly use those equations and can put the value of the known variables in that uh, and we can find out the value of r1 and l1 but if we do not remember those equations we can derive them using this bridge let's see how we can derive it 
we know that we have to calculate the value of the resistance and inductance when the bridge is under the balance condition so when the bridge is balanced we know that under balance condition the detector is going to give us a null deflection and detector is giving null deflection means the points b and e they are at the same potential or we can say that the voltage drop across the arm a b will be equal to the voltage drop across the arm a e okay and we can say the current flowing in the first arm that is i1 will be equal to the current flowing in arm bc because no current is flowing in this detector arm it will act as an open circuit so the potential drop across the arm ab or will be equal to the voltage drop across the arm ae and also the voltage drop across bc will be equal to the voltage drop across ce so we are going to use those balance conditions uh, those equations to derive the uh, value of r1 and l1 okay first we will write the value of all the impedances in all the five nodes or in all the arms the impedance in the arm ab will be termed as the impedance z1 so z1 is the series combination of the resistances r1 capital r1 and l1 so it will be small r1 plus capital r1 plus j omega l1 then we are having the impedance z2 z2 will be the impedance in the arm ad so it is r2 then impedance across this arm bc is z3 and impedance across the arm cd is z4 so z2 is r2 z3 is r3 and z4 is r4 now the impedance along the arm cd c and d it is equal to the series combination of this r and one up uh, and this uh, c because detector this arm is an open circuit so r and the c they will come in series with each other so if we find out the equivalent impedance along the point c and d it will be r and c in series combination so z dc will be r plus 1 upon j omega c so we have written the impedances along all the arms now under balance condition we know that the currents i1 and i3 they will be equal okay because no current is flowing in the detector arm so whatever is i1 it will be i3 no current across this arm this is zero i equals to 0 along this arm so i1 will be equals to i3 and this is the current i2 so i2 will be equal to i4 and this is what i suppose this is ic the current flowing across this because here also no current is flowing so whatever is the current across the resistor that will flow across the capacitor also so we are taking this current as ic okay so i2 will be equal to ic plus i4 we know that this is the kirchhoff's current law that at a node the algebraic sum is equals to 0 so incoming current is i2 and outgoing current is ic plus i4 so incoming current will be equal to the sum of the outgoing currents so i2 will be equals to ic plus i4 also this uh, at the balance condition the voltage drop across this ab arm will be equal to the voltage drop across the arm ae okay that is e2 so e1 will be equals to e2 so these are the conditions when we are having the bridge under the balance conditions now using this we are going to derive the equation for the unknown impedances r1 and l1 now from here because we know that i1 is equals to i3 and also the voltage drop across this bc arm will be equal to the voltage drop across the capacitor okay ce arm because that is the condition for the detector so 
we can write the equation that I3 R3 that is voltage drop across the resistance R3 will be equal to the voltage drop across the capacitor. Current across capacitor is IC and its value is 1 upon J omega C. So that is the voltage drop across the capacitor. Now I3 is equals to I1. So we can replace this by I1 I R3 equals to IC upon J omega C. Now from here the value of IC current will be I1 J omega C R3. Okay. Now if we write another equation I1 that means the voltage drop across the arm AB I have said that the voltage drop across AB will be equal to the voltage drop across AE. So AB voltage drop will be total resistance multiplied with the current. So we have written it here. And then AE again the total uh, the current that is I2 R2 plus the current uh, the voltage drop across this resistor that is ICR. So we have written I2 R2 plus ICR. Now here if we put the value of this IC current we will get I1 R1 plus capital R1 plus J omega L1 equals to I2 R2 plus IC is what I1 J omega C R3 R. Now bringing this I1 term here so all the terms having the current I1 they will be on the left hand side. So I1 R1 plus capital R1 plus J omega L1 this will become minus sign and I1 has taken being common so we are left with J omega C R3 R and here we are left with I2 R2. So this is our one equation. Next equation is we know that uh, this uh, voltage drop across this resistance and capacitor will be equal to the voltage drop across this resistance because they are connected in parallel with each other and in parallel the voltage remains the same. So voltage drop across the uh, this resistor and capacitor will be equal to the voltage drop across this resistance. So across these resistances we are having J omega C R3 I1 R plus 1 upon J omega C. What I have written because the current across this resistor and capacitor it is the current IC. So I have directly put the value of the current IC which we have derived earlier that IC is equal to IC we know that it is equals to I1 J omega C R3. So I have put here the value of the current IC multiplied with the equivalent uh, the resistance or impedance in the arm this. So R plus 1 upon J omega C. Then it will be equal to the I4 R4. Okay. And I4 can be written as I2 minus IC. Again, we will put the value of the current IC here. So it will be I2 minus the value of IC that is I1 J omega C R3 and multiply it with the resistance R4. So here again we have got an equation. If we bring all the terms having the current I1 on the left hand side then I1 j omega c r3 r we have multiplied this plus multiplying this so j omega c j omega c cancel we are left with only r3 and bringing this to the left hand side it will become positive j omega c r3 r4 and this is equal to i2 r4 so this is our second equation so from the first and the second equation, if we solve these equations, separate the real and the imaginary parts, we will get the value of the resistance R1 and the inductance L1. So the value of R1 will come out to be R2 
R3 upon R4 minus small r1. And the value of L1 will be C R3 upon R4. So if we don't remember these equations, we can derive them while solving the question also. Just we have to remember the that at balance condition, the detector is going to give us the null deflection. And it means that the potential at the points across that detector, they are having the same potential. Okay. So applying those conditions, we can derive these values so now we have uh, the value of all these variables given to us in the question so we are going to put their values and calculate r1 and l1 so now putting the values of all the variables r1 is equals to we have to put the value of r2 r3 and r4 so r2 is given to us in the question as 250 ohms so 250 then R3 is given as 100 ohm and R4 is given to us as 200 ohms. Okay, these values are given to us in the question. Then minus we are having small R1. So small R1 is given to us as 43.1 ohm. So this will be when we are going to solve it, we will get R1 is equals to 81.9 ohms. So this is the value of the resistance 81.9 and then the inductance L1. L1 is given as C R3 upon R4. So the value of C is 1 microfarad. So 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. Then we are having R3 upon R4. So R3 is 100. R4 is 200. Then in the bracket we are having small r r4 plus r2 so the value of small r is given to us as 229.7 then we are having r4 that is 200 plus r2 that is 250 then plus r2 r4 that is 250 into 200 so solving this We are having here 10 raised to the power minus 6 upon 2. Then here 200 plus 250. So it will be 450 multiplied with 229.7. Here also we are multiplying it here. So when we solve this, we will get L1 as 0 0.0766 Henry's. So either we can directly use those formulas that is for R1 and L1 if we have uh, determined that the bridge, uh, the circuit which we have drawn, this circuit is for Anderson's bridge. So for Anderson's bridge, if we remember these equations, we can directly use these equations and can find the value of R1 and L1. But that will make the numerical or the question very easy. So better it's better to derive these values and then put the value of the uh, variables which are known to us or which are given to us in the question and then find the value of R1 and L1. Okay. So I uh, in this problem, we have uh, measured the value of an unknown impedance, which is a combination of a resistance and inductance using the Anderson's bridge. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.